Hey everyone, it's Buzzword here, and I'm going to cast a 3v3 game on this map with a sort of circular islands for both teams, and there's a path um, between each of the islands in the middle. Um, also a feature on the map is a the, the ability to land your ships on the back of the other um, person's, the other team's base. So we have Nikita, Idesluxe, Player90, Joker, Buzzrod as myself, and Bob1. So I'm going to start off here in the top position. Um, the land here has a lot of trees in the middle, and there's actually walls on the side of the island, except for the back, where there's a sort of entrance you can land your ships in. So all of our allies are very close to each other, and we have the gold mines and coal mines pretty close to your base, so um, there shouldn't be too much of an issue with that. So I'm just getting some, uh, was it cavalry first off, and my ally is just uh, exploring the map a bit there, just on the, our, our own island. So our first attack is coming in here with green taking control of the center mines here, but uh, our allies have secured it with a tower and some knights. And we're going to push towards the uh, opponent's side of the map now. And I also decide to put down a tower as a defensive measure right there as well. So building up a bit more, and we have blue attacking into our tower and some of the knights here. So he does manage to retreat. Um, Green does have some uh, balusters and a tower at home, but a lot of blue's balusters are falling. I just a bit of a misclick there when I tried to run into the towers, but uh, here I'm just trying to kill as many workers as I can. Still like two balusters shooting my um, cavalry, but I uh, didn't bring all my units, so would have been a bit more effective if I had done that. So that's what I'm gonna do now, just bring them in. Um, so there's more reinforcements for blue, two more balusters and green has a bit of an army there so I can't attack them by myself um, if uh, if all my team had attacked at this point uh, might have been a bit better so red had a big army just waiting at the back of the base there uh, a bit unfortunate that he's not attacking and helping his teammates there which is uh, better for the north team um, we have a few cavalry just sitting in the middle as well for pink and um, yeah, I think Browns has some crossbows as well. So Blue once again built up their army and they're taking down one of the towers that we have. Um, Green is still building up his balusters as well and he has like a random battering ram there. They're gonna take down the tower that I put in front of my stables. And I'm just running through with one, uh, one horseman there to try and uh, scout. So Pink does have a sizable army now in the middle, a mix of archers and cavalry. The next attack comes in with some more balusters attacking my stable now in front of the um, the divider in the middle there. So I have a bunch of balusters that um, I built as well. So I'm just gonna bring them towards the front line. And they're now pushing with just balusters. Um, so this is triggered Brown's response. And he's coming in with a bunch of uh, heavy cavalry and some um, was a crossbowman as well. So generally when you want to <laughs> when your team attacks you generally want to go all at once so um, coordinating is always going to be key and there's a lot of towers now um, for defense on the south team and it's just balusters versus balusters at this point but red now who finally has a bunch of cavalry he's coming in for a bit of an attack Pulling back a bit. Don't want to get wrecked uh, coming in and just uh, you know running into the towers there. So both our teams there are just kind of like feeling each other out, not wanting to like sacrifice your whole army. And this is why the balusters are so good. They outrange most units, so they have the highest range um, in the game. So you can actually hit the towers and other units as well. And the next attack is coming in now. Uh, was it Brown does decide to attack with all his 
infantry and everyone's just coming in for the attack here in the middle. Um, it's not the most favorable for the north team because um, there's towers defending on the south side. So everyone's kind of retreating, but uh, Red has enough cavalry now that he can charge in and destroy the balusters if he needs to. So this is a point in the game where it's going to be pretty tricky to kind of win decisively. Um, just because there's a lot of um, towers for the south side. And that's why I end up uh, cutting down a lot of the video, just because stuff like this happens where it really slows down the game. With a lot of towers there, it takes a long time to get through them and also um, be able to destroy the other persons. Uh, the other team is army, because there's still a huge amount and they can just... Uh, those towers buy them a lot of time to build up an army. And Red here is actually destroying a lot of my uh, siege units there. It didn't really take that much damage from the towers at all, so that's a really good move by Red. So we have a bit of a small move out there from Red's catapults, and there's one green tower on the edge of this entrance that is able to be targeted. This really uh, gets Red running in with a lot of army there. Has a lot of knights. Um, purple does have, oh, sorry, pink does have quite a lot of army in the middle as well. And I'm telling my teammates here to come and attack. Uh, but it's mainly pink's army um, that's really sizable here. Um, so there's brown's army, and it's mostly archers. Um, it'll give us some support while um, a lot of pink's army streaming in here. So it's not really the best here when they're kind of just streaming in like that, like in a single file, because they kind of get taken out um, a lot easier. Uh, of course, we have to go all at once, um, especially when there's you know lots of people just standing around there, like Brown at the back. Um, so Pink realizes that yeah, a lot of his army just got taken out because of all these towers, and our team wasn't all attacking at once. But um, We've managed to do some damage, and we've taken a lot of damage as well. So, the stalemate at this point continues. Um, neither of us can really break through each other's defenses, and so we're just going to have to wait and build up some more. So the next attack comes in with Red, and once again he has a lot of knights and some horse archers. He's probably the MVP of the other team at this point in time, just because he's um, he's just the best um, out of blue and green um, but he does retreat again so uh, just trying to poke at the front there and see what damage he can do but there's just a lot in the middle there especially when we have control and the towers um, as well so not able to break that position and of course he would need the help of blue and green to push through as well if um, the south team wants to uh, make a push for this victory. And once again, Red leads with another attack. Um, this time he does have a few siege units mixed in there as well. Uh, but once again, he's driven back just because there's a big army waiting um, at the choke point there. So this is something that uh, we should have done earlier. Pink has an idea. He's bringing his ships around to the backside of the opponent's bases and seeing if he can attack from there as well. Um, the island is set up so that the uh, majority of it is walled in. However, there is a spot where you can actually land ships. So uh, we could actually land a bunch of transport units at the back um, of the base and attack from that direction because that is less heavily guarded than the main entrance between um, the two islands so this is what I'm trying to do as well I, once I see pink do that I'm trying to like build my uh, um, shipyard but of course I need to be uh, within range of the water so I need to bring a unit there and build but anyway pink does reach the uh, other side of the map and he is able to attack some of the buildings on the edge there so even though there's a wall, he can still shoot through it, and he managed to take down a few buildings there and um, hit some villages as well. So now that we know that um, Pink is moving back, and I think he's just gonna 
um, bring some transport ships there as well so it's going to be a bit more of an attack I'm not sure where he's going right now I think he's just kind of like exploring the map and making sure there's nothing on the corners of the map she's really taking her detour there if you look at the mini map it's kind of like trying to explore everything yeah um, so this, this onslaught continues I'm not, I, I think this might have been a misclick from Red he kind of sent a small unit of um, knights in there got baited anyway um, this position isn't really um, doing much so we're making a big attack now we all decide to attack there's a bunch of catapults defending and towers um, not so many okay so here's a lot of Red's units coming in um, hopefully we'll be able to whittle some of that down the siege units at the back for us are doing putting in some work there a lot of the knights for red have actually fallen so now it's just down to greens knights and so yeah that's a pretty big mistake there by green trying to run through and all of his knights get destroyed so Overall, I think that's looking pretty good for the North team. Um, a lot of their troops are now dead, so we, I think we have an advantage at this point of the game. This would probably be the majority of the troops left, mostly horse archers. And the tower is still there defending for the South team. And I'm just going to jump ahead here where Pink brings a bunch of transport ships with um, all of his troops probably. And um, we are being attacked as well with some ships at the back, but uh, not really too concerned about that at the moment. So Pink has landed his ships there. Um, I wish I could uh, see the camera there. There we go. So he's landed his ships and a lot of his army is there. Red realizes this and he's going to attack. So Pink also brought his ships along to attack, so that will give him some extra firepower. Um, meanwhile, I'm at the front door here just trying to take down the towers um, and the other balusters of green. So I don't really have too much troops, but pink here has managed to destroy red's army, which is really good. And now we are finally breaking through to their base and taking down their production. So this is going to be good for... Uh, the pace of the game it's finally swinging into our favor heavily for the north team and this should be the breaking point of the game now for the south team so there's still a few towers still standing for red but the problem here is that south's production is now compromised and there's still a lot of army left for pink i'm coming here trying to build on the south side of the base as well, put up a tower and I'm just trying to um, I think I was meant to put down some buildings here Red still does have a bunch of units still alive uh, but he hasn't engaged yet um, I guess he's just trying to um, hold out near the towers so he doesn't have to like send his whole army in without the power tower support. So this is when I start building the barracks and stables to build directly on the south island. Red's still trying to hold on, so good for him. He's probably the MVP of the south island. He's been doing the most attacks and I think he would have, de would have done the most damage. Um, he is trying to take down the towers, but uh, it's probably a bit too late at this point. It's just going to be clean up duty at this point. Um, so bunch of knights here and red red's town hall has been destroyed so it says he's defeated or either he's left the game so yeah this uh game is finally winding down and green has a few units here and there but um this is basically over now There's still those uh, towers in the middle that still need to fall. So yeah, most of the action is pretty much over now. Um, we're just going to do some extra cleanup with the help of siege weapons. I'm going to put down a workshop and getting a battering ram. 
So I think Green's Town Hall is the last one surviving. And of course some of the production buildings. But here comes the battering ram. And it's kind of random. But we'll see the damage output here. Taking down that house. So it takes down the house very quickly with the battering ram. And there's a few pilasters here that Green is trying to um, take down some of my units with, but uh, it won't be enough. Yep, we're just going to keep clearing out these buildings. I don't think there's like many units left for the South Island. Like a few soldiers here and there, but uh, this should be the final town hall for the South Island. So that's Green's town hall. And there's only the archery range, barracks, and two uh, workshops left before the game ends. So here comes Pink with his cavalry. And we're just coming in to finish things off. But yeah, uh, this should be the end pretty soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already um so this game is now on steam so if you want to play it make sure to check it out